I feel it's a moral issue to take a stand. Um, as more and more environmental destruction is happening, um, I can't let that go without um, protesting against it, you know. The protest right along the highway, it shows there's a lot of support in a lot of communities. And I want to stop contamination of our water table and uh, also to stop the, so stop the CSG from occurring. I believe that mining is not a sustainable industry in Australia. I am a farmer's daughter, granddaughter and great-granddaughter, and I think it is farming and grazing that are the sustainable industries in our area, and the land should be protected, the water should be protected. Yes, I guess you could call me a greenie, although I prefer to call myself a rusted-on independent. This is the very first time I've ever protested in my life and I'm very passionate about it and I think everybody should take a, have a wake up call and sort of say, well once our water's gone and it's toxic, we lose all our livestock, we lose all our vegetation and basically we can't eat, can't, can't eat coal or drink gas. Because I want CSG banned in Australia and everywhere across the world. There's no, no room on our planet for CSG. Otherwise, understand or have the knowledge of what's going on. Just how important this is. And the community engagement part of it is so important. So to get a, um, a, a line of people this long is amazing. And because I'm so against all seeing gas exploration, it's uh, ruining the, the aquifers and it's, it's just downright dangerous. Close because of sand. <laughs> See, that's what we usually get. <laughs> good, that's where I go, good. <laughs> that's where we go. Our water, land and air matters. Um, my son's future, the future of humanity. <laughs> matters. It just matters. The land, the earth. Without the earth, we have no life. I'm here because I disagree with <laughs> fracking and coal seam <laughs> gas and what it does to the environment. I'm concerned about what we're going to leave for our kids. A whole heap of waste now. So the water will be who knows what. Food will be growing in who knows what. Not much of a future for them. I'm here to um, help educate um, people along the highway today because I believe um, that if we don't all stand up together as one unit, um, people power, that um, the large companies will just come in and take our country over. Everyone's going past, tooting, waving, thumbs up. We've had two stopped, you the third stopped. Right. So one was a fellow. I believe passionately that we need to stop the fracking for coal seam gas because otherwise they're going to destroy our food and water supply. Not only for us, but for my grandchildren. I'm really worried about this precious and fragile land, our water, and I really would like to keep it and maintain it as it is. No, no destruction with pollution and anything. And I believe passionately about farmers, and um, I'd just like to come along and um, do something about it, try and do something yeah, about it. Lots of honks on the horns, and it's really encouraging. And it's quite inspiring to see that so many people are supporting us, and they're actually aware of it, and yeah, acknowledge the, the issue that's, that we're facing. So it's really we fantastic. don't want the kids in five years' time to say, why didn't, you know, why didn't someone, why didn't do, someone something? do something? Yeah. Well done. And we don't want to say we knew about it and didn't do anything. So, it's time. We're here today to, to look after our country and all the farmland. I mean, if we just sit back and let it go, the government's going to walk over us like they do with everything else. So someone, you know, that's why we're here. You've only got to look along the road to see everyone supporting us today. It's great. We're sick of waving. It's just unbelievable. We've only been here an hour. I am a townie, but I believe that if Santos are allowed extract coal seam gas in our area, 
the water table will be ruined and it will affect the whole community for ever more. We've got no government. We, uh, we've got a government that's running an economic business that has no compassion for people. And they just will not listen. Our represent local representatives do not take our message to Macquarie Street. So we've got to put it on the highway. We don't agree with coal seam gas. We don't want coal seam gas on our farms. And you're a farmer? Yeah, we're farmers. And uh, no, it's, it's the little communities are going to pay for these big companies' profits. The unknown is if they dig the water, then where do we go? To protect our water. Very rarely. Very simple. We are here to protect our land and our water and our future. <laughs> Yeah, we're here to demonstrate against coal seam gas mining and the damage it's going to do, the irreversible damage it's going to do to our Great Artesian Basin water, And but all underground water will be affected. And it's not just the water underground, it's the water that runoff into the rivers and the streams and the creeks and the contamination of the soil structure they put under the ground when they're putting these holes down, it'll all eat away and rust and collapse and the steel casing will will all deteriorate and over this is just going to be a honeycomb of holes and steel pipes and rusting bits of cement and stuff under the ground, rusting pipes and as they, every year it will get worse. Now, this elected government we have, this so-called bloody national, are not protecting the farmers. They, I believe that corruption has a big, plays a huge part in these decision-making processes where they approve coal seam gas mining. Yeah. I'm absolutely sure of it. We're here because we're sick to death of the government not listening to our... We've given them a mountain of evidence, science, peer-reviewed papers. They kept saying, Troy Graham kept saying, oh, I'm an ex-policeman, I need evidence. So we took in evidence, we had a visit. Three times I took him a USB stick of evidence, peer-reviewed papers, well integrity guidelines, everything. Never applied once. We are here to tell them we are not going away. We are here. If it comes to it, there'll be blockaded gates. They are never getting on this farming land, ever. They can do it the easy way and look at the signs, listen to the evidence and pause until they can prove that they won't damage our water. If they can't prove scientifically that they won't damage the water, then they're never, ever getting on any of this land. Beautiful. I am here because I think it's really important to protect our resources, and I think it's really important that our community has our say, and has their say in what they believe is important. And this one, clearly, people are saying that they don't want coal seam gas in their area, in their communities, and this community in particular, and everybody's coming out in force to say so. And I think that's amazing and so positive. And, Every and everybody is so positive and so excited about it that it's such a simple action and a simple way to have their say. And they get to, um, and they get to do it with having a lot of fun as well. And that all the motorists have been so positive and I think that's amazing too. Yeah. Very worried about the water, actually. That's, that's the main thing I'm worried about, is, is our underground water and how it could be affected by coal seam gas. And that's the main reason I'm here, really. Excellent. Yeah. Say no to coal seam gas. <laughs> no coal seam gas. <laughs> I think we should just protect our future for our children. Um, they're taking, they're going to possibly destroy all our water and destroy our life and everybody else's in Australia. Lots of people are happy, are happy to see us all here. It's an amazing event, really, because this is the entrance to our farm. This is our, yeah. this is where we live. Yeah. <laughs> Obvious, we don't want gas, coal seam gas. Okay. Well, we're just we're, we're against coal seam gas, as simple as that. Um, yeah, we've um, we, we have terrible concerns about it with uh, for our water, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, we've, we're uh, just working away trying to, to get people to, to take a bit of notice and, and hopefully get some changes. Hey, you got one, you? <laughs> you too. I don't agree with CSG. It's a dangerous, unsafe industry, yeah, and it's unwelcome here. It's, stop it. It's, it's, not, it's crazy. They'll poison the water and they'll poison the land and they should just frack off. Every, maybe every fourth vehicle or even every third vehicle has been honking 
So there's been a lot of honking going on. They're getting tired. And a lot of people up. have been waving. Not honking, but waving. You know, generally speaking, yeah, there's a lot of sympathy out there for people that are traveling today anyway, you know. To send Mr. Baird a very clear message that we do not want coal seam gas in northwest New South Wales. We don't want coal seam gas. We want to protect our land and our water. We do not want coal seam gas anywhere through our region. I'm a member of BirdLife Australia. Yep. And the BirdLife Australia Northern New South Wales group has a camp out every autumn and every spring. Last autumn they were in Dubbo, this autumn they're in the Pilliga and the Warren Bungles, staying at Camp Cyprus. They're here because they love bird life. And if you have no environment, you have no birds. I'm very concerned about the impact of coal seam gas mining on our water resources. That's why I'm here. Farming land that we have is too valuable and too productive to be threatened by um, its water supply being contaminated and by the land. And also I'm angry about the farmers not having any right of protest. That's another reason I'm here, to support them. I'm here because we don't want coal seam gas happening through the Pilliga, or anywhere in Australia really, but this is a really important area to preserve. And people aren't quite sure what you're doing. Yeah. Um, and then because we were here setting up a tent, and, and I'd driven from Coonabarabran and there was nothing, of course, because we were setting up before. And then um, you get your signs up, and as you're putting your signs up, people are starting to read them, and then you'd get the occasional honk. And um, then I just, I remember the first trackie we got was about 20, the first trackie we got was about 20 past 10. And you think, oh yeah, these trackies are starting to honk. But then as they've come through, and the guys have come all the way through from Dubbo, or wherever they've started from, They've seen all these signs and they're right into it. They've Everybody. got the hang of it. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody. And, and we've, 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 we've uh, discerned a pattern of enthusiasm from gentle honks to really enthusiastic ones and people leaning out the window and thumbs up and just a little gentle wonder. <laughs> so you get all sorts. Yeah. yeah, and people coming honking in both directions, even though we've only got the honk here. They're, 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 you know, they've obviously seen lots of people on the road.